Welcome, everybody. We have with us the attending graduates um, that were with us tonight that could meet on Zoom. And we wanted to give an opportunity to hear from them and uh, some of the advice and some of the memories that we can share with them. My favorite memory at the Wesley was when I was a freshman. After every single either exec or mentors council meeting, I'm not sure I wasn't in them, um, people would just run out of the library and grab all of the couch cushions because we had real leather couches in the Wesley. And then everyone would grab the couch cushions from the media room and we would just be in the upstairs uh, hallway just brawling with a bunch of cushions everywhere. And that's probably why we don't have them anymore. When I was a sophomore going into junior year, I went on the women's mentor trip and I didn't realize how much I needed that in my life. I got to connect with so many wonderful women that I wouldn't have gotten to if I hadn't had that experience. It was awesome getting to worship and have quiet times at 6.30 in the morning in the mountains. You get to learn so much about people. And it was one of the first times that I got to be my full vulnerable self. Um, so that was one of my absolute favorite memories. Uh, and me and the Gunther guys, we heard that Ted Cruz was going to be in town, that it was proven that Ted Cruz was in fact the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> yeah, and so we met Ted Cruz and, and I told him to his face that he was the Zodiac Killer. We piled up a bunch of people in the back of somebody's truck. I'm not actually sure whose truck it was, but we all went to Sonic and we got dollar cheese sticks. And on the way back, Kayla Moody was I don't know what she was doing, but she was kind of like standing up or she was sitting on the edge or something. But we hit a bump or hit the brakes or something and she ended up falling over and she fell on my cheese sticks. When we started World War III in the Wesley, we ended up locking Cooper out of the truck. So we had a ride in the back around Christmas time. So it was pretty cold outside. He came and like attacked us and he lost his beanie, um, which we kept. And so then once we got back to the Wesley, he was trying to get the beanie from us, but then of course it turned into everybody that was at the Wesley ended up joining in. Probably one of my favorite memories was probably walking on the sidewalk in the snow and seeing the um, staircase turn into a slide and almost had a near-death experience coming down the slide, I believe. Um, <laughs> I was actually catching a friend and she uh, knocked me out from my legs, so I hit my head. <laughs> so, you hit your head? Was, yeah, I did. Oh no. Occupational hazard, so, um... You know, I built that thing because I just thought it needed to happen. It better happen every time it snows now, so... The summers that I stayed in Canyon um, and helping out with NSOs and just getting to build those relationships with the individuals that were also in Canyon for the summer was such a blessing because it's so cool to see freshmen come in at their NSO and then be excited and you only see them for maybe three hours and then they come back in the fall and you're like, oh my gosh, I know you. And they're like, I know you. And uh, probably comes from whispers. I got to help out with that sometime in my sophomore year. Specifically, and this is gonna sound real weird that this is my favorite memory from whispers, but it was that night that we were in the chapel until like 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. And we were in the chapel until 3 a.m. because the air conditioning or heater kept turning on. Mm -hmm. And so we weren't getting clear audio. Yep. And so, I just remember like being crashed out in the pews and then just being like hearing the heater go off and immediately like snapping up, trying to get the scene. And to this <laughs> day, I am still like painfully aware of when air conditioning and heaters turn off. And I always am like... Chaney and I were at the Wesley and we decided to give Kyle Hubbard a tour of WT. And there was Reagan Collie just laying on this bench, skipping her, buff branding, I think. And Holy Spirit was just like, hey, talk to her. And I did, and she went on that walk with us, and then that turned into bugging the crap out of her to get her to come to Fusion when we both lived in Centennial. And she ended up becoming one of my best friends. It's to not be afraid to take a risk every now and then. Um, as a senior, being only on uh, lead for one semester, which is, it sucked only, it was one semester and had to cut short. Um, don't be afraid to take a risk as a freshman and to just jump and dive right in because you never know what it'll lead to and um, how much you'll change and grow through the experiences. If God's telling you to join LEAD or to join a resource team, just do it. 
and if you don't feel like you are able to or if you don't feel like you're enough or if you think you have too much baggage he can use that for so much good and that's something that I took with me throughout my college experience at the Wesley and it has blessed me tenfold and I've gotten to impact so many people at the Wesley because I put my yes on the table and I just went with whatever God was telling me to do to be faithful, available, and teachable because when I came to the Wesley, I didn't know anything about any of the stuff that I ended up doing. Um, but I was available and I was faithful in learning it and I was teachable. And so then um, God took me places that I would have never expected. Yeah, I really didn't know anything. And then, yeah, I became the comp team leader in like a year and a half. If you see a need, don't wait for someone else to fill it. Just jump in yourself. Don't stop. It can be so difficult on leadership. Sometimes you can get burned out. Sometimes you're in an area of, on leadership that you don't you don't belong in and you may not know that at the time. But it's important to trust God through it all. And if you don't stop, you can make it through and you can accomplish so many more things than you ever thought you could. To look forward and to look up to the people that are in leadership above you or have been at the Wesley and look up to them and learn from them and listen to them and hear their stories but ultimately don't compare yourself to them. Like do what you're supposed to do and get your things done but don't be afraid to hang out with a different group. Don't be afraid to just go jump in with some random people in a car who are going to Sonic. Like be willing to put yourself out there and dig into those friendships because you never know what you're going to get out of them. Obey that whisper. You never know, you know, sometimes it sounds crazy, sometimes it's a super simple thing, but you have no idea what that act of obedience is, what that seed planted will flourish into. Mine ended up being a huge friendship and she's also been a huge part of our body today. What you put in, you're going to get out. And so I think that the more that you put into the Wesley, the more that you're gonna get out of it. Whether that's just those leadership opportunities, um, which of course those come, but I think more importantly, um, like the friendship and the community, but then also the relationship that you're gonna build um, with Christ. And so I think, you know, you have to be on top of your time management so you can put like into the Wesley. The, the reason people get hurt in ministry is because people hold back and grades are important and extracurriculars are important. Uh, but the hardest thing to get through someone's mind is what, what there is in the spiritual realm, what there is after college. What more to life there is, is the relationship with Jesus Christ. And you find that here. And once you find that, go at it with 100%.